Well, basically, I'll talk about things. Well, um, first of all, okay, what I've experienced was, you know, what's everybody knew was the whole um, so called discovering the Higgs boson thing. Well, personally, there's certain concepts I disagree with. That they still think that um, the smallest, that it's the smallest they can go, that will believe that the universe can go. And with all the concepts that um, saying that photons have no mass, when it's been proven that photons themselves are capable of being pulled by gravity, and it's obvious when light doesn't escape a black hole. And as well, when um, light, um, one can spot planets orbiting around distant stars in the way the light bends. Now, if light was just energy, um, light wouldn't be bending. Light would escape from a black hole. And as well as another observable thing. Um, oh, I forgot where it was. The light, so uh, oh yes, and then light can be accelerated faster than the speed of light, which means that it has mass. Uh, when something has mass, it has its own gravity, and um, you know the thing is, energy itself cannot exist without the vibration of stuff or the movement of stuff, and. The mo and then, as well as matter cannot exist without this energy, which is actually the movement of stuff. So, wave. So it actually combines the wave, the wave particle um, thing together, because the waves is basically the motion, the vibration. It's like when you like drop a stone in the water, it ripples. So the energy is moving. Energy is never created nor destroyed as well, and we're basically living in the sea of energy. The whole concept of one creating energy from nothing um, seems to be the sort of ideology uh, that exists in mainstream science, and people don't realize it. Um, the thing is, I choose not to be mainstream um, because the thing is. I like to question everything, you know, and think on it, and study it, and then I found contradictory um, things, and um, for example, light having mass based on its effect of gravity, so, you know, you know, energy is supposed to, you know, energy itself is just, what they see is just like this, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but because energy itself is like we are bang the table when you hear a sound. Uh, that sound is actually the vibration and it vibrates your ear and then it gets transferred into chemical, electric chemical and goes to the brain and you pick it up and it just goes on and it just doesn't end. You know, people like to, okay, hmm, like to put things in boxes and label things and things like that. For example, why I would actually say the particle they assumedly discovered um, is a graviton. Well, the thing is, i just given it the name graviton, but um, I didn't necessarily give it the name. I actually looked it up, and much of the properties of what is a theoretical particle called graviton is very almost the same as the Higgs boson, so um, that's what I say, but the thing is, everyone's jumping, saying, oh, they discovered the Higgs boson, blah, 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 it's like very short and rash, and, you know, things change over time, and, yeah, I'm still, I, I personally still stick with the whole photon thing, because it's the only thing that actually makes sense to me, um, in understanding uh, um, the mark micro universe part of the universe um which is only a brain of entire infinity so photons themselves are made up of smaller particles and those particles are made up of smaller particles and those particles are made up of smaller particles and yeah you know, it just doesn't end so people just i don't know why they're just kind of because they can't see anything further um 
they assume with like ends a full stop kind of thing. And then again, you get the whole big bang bullshit theory, where something happens to be regurgitated out of nothing. You know, the thing is, whenever there's an explosion, there's always an implosion. There's always a reaction and a transfer of energy. So something cannot be created out of nothing. No. Oh. Formed was a better word, out of nothing. So, yeah. Um, also, another thing I was thinking on is... You know, just thinking, I'm just analysing myself in existence. What is the whole thing about it? Do we exist? But, you know, it doesn't mean that... And that... It's hard to put on words, actually. And yet, people just go out the way to make people's lives a bloody misery and enforce people to be concerned about frivolous bullshit um, just to control and manipulate others and yet there's a whole vast thing out there called infinity with so many things to be found and discovered, you know, I found life much more uh, more of an importance, or gives me a reason, or a meaning, when focusing my thought on imagining and thinking and working out what's beyond the known found things. And um, theists claim that oh, everything just stops at the whole god entity kind of thing, you know, because they say you know God does God that God created blah blah blah. Like just like preventing a stop from thinking, you know, of different possibilities of things and how things work and so on and so forth. And I just can't understand why some people just focus on such frivolous bullshit like making making their lives that they earn a lot of money kind of thing and then make it out of upholding the law and bully people or to conform regardless if they're hurting anybody or not the basic thing is you know do things as long as it doesn't hurt anyone you know that's just basic cosmic conscious law in a sense do things that you don't hurt anybody and people put so much dogma and enforcement of telling people how what to do and how to think policy is very much part of it you know there's no thinking involved everything is just like as my one of my favorite friends bionic comes in, is running a whole manic there's a whole vastness of infinity. Even though humanity would reach a point where they would mostly have all the answers to things. But they will never know everything. No one would know everything. There's so there's this never ending exploring thing that you know, if people focus on that, you know, instead of focusing on trying to control and manipulate people and tell people what to do and all that crap. You know, you must conform, you must follow rules, you must do this and you must do that, you know. People don't need it. If people focus on things that are amazing and need to be explored, there wouldn't be enough, there wouldn't be any time for those sort of things and the way you explore and think doing your own way you know I'm honest and I like to dream you know I create my work and all that and then you get people that come and then they my work is basically done in love and it's emitting love and and someone finds it offensive and then goes and and it, basically they find it offensive because of what they've been Enforce that if they 
never been brought up in a whole religious conforming policy bashing um, society that would appreciate the work. Uh, I don't know, it's, you know, people who do this, who are focused on frivolous bullshit, just make my life misery, that I want to just kill myself and die and just, I just don't want to exist anymore. This is stress, unnecessary stress and worry and anxiety and uh, you don't need it. Who needs it? Why the fuck do people do this? And yet, the thing that makes life interesting and not boring and is doing my art and thinking about things that still needs to be discovered and all that. And the whole scientific community in a sense is basically artificially saturated. For example, you get physicists like Nassim Haramein. He's non um, mainstream just because there are certain arguments that exist in mainstream science that argues against his non mainstream science. They feel it's a right to actually remove um, his Wikipedia page. It's just beyond stupidity. You know, this is what I don't get because it doesn't fit or it doesn't you get to delete it, you know? Why can't people just leave it and then add an information that even if it, you know, added the information, as you know, would argue against his theories and all that. It will give a better, clearer picture where you can look at the, um, the opposing theories with his theories and go through it, see the mistakes, work through them, and then derive your own conclusion. Um, where you take the positives out of each and you personally remove the negatives. And then you create an article on what you think. You know? It's... It's just this whole right binary zero, one zero thing of true and false when, it, when in reality the fact is nothing is really black or white. It's shades of existence you know? oh, it's just um mind sometimes i just don't know why i'm on this planet in the first place yes i know that i'm you know i have a bit of extraterrestrial connections and things like that it's all an experiment and all that but why what's the whole purpose of it all you know People should be just doing things because of being fun and exciting. Not, not necessarily doing things to hurt people, harm things, damage the environment, fuck things up. But doing things that are out of love and happiness. Like exploring and creating. But when I look at things, people just do things to compete with one another, their theories are better than those theories, and they're right, and they're wrong, and... Uh, it's, it's a thing that I normally, it's a thing that I always think and ponder on. What is the purpose of all this crap? Bylaws, and oh... Well, money. <sighs> People so st stuck in a mindset. People interested in other people's drama and get happy about people hurting or getting sick or dying or competing. I don't know. It's. I thought I'd just share some of my thoughts. <sighs>